Welcome to another episode of QS program. It's episode number 9 and today we will talk about concrete slab and beam. As you know, we are working on a villa project by covering all aspects of quantity surveying. And today in episode number 9, we will learn how to measure the quantities for the beam and slab and how to fill it in the BOQ. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, just have a look on our previous episodes. It will give you the better understanding about this program. Now on the left side, I have opened the plan swift and all my drawings are here. And on the right side, I have my Excel sheet. It's a BOQ. So in a BOQ, as you know, we have measured previously foundation and column and today we'll talk about beam and slab. I have changed the color so we can easily focus on it. Previous quantities are still there. We just need to measure one by one these items. So the drawings are here. Let's proceed by the first one, ground beam in foundation. Very simple, what we need, cubic meter. You can measure manually as well. I'm using a plan shift tool because I'm very much comfortable and you will realize today by watching the video how powerful the software is. So let's directly start. I'm gonna create a new item. We can give a name here, tie beam one width and depth you can choose any color we like press ok by the way from where i know the information it's always mentioned in the drawing you can see here tie beam 0 0.2 0 0.6 so what i have to do simply highlight wherever i see the tie beam so it's from here to there highlight So tie beam is done, we can see here we didn't miss anything, right click and stop. Okay, after the tie beam 1, we have to create a new item, tie beam 2, the width is 0 0.6, sorry, 2 and 0 0.6, we can change the unit as well, if you're working in feet and inches, you can choose here, okay, press ok, so I just need to highlight. Okay, tie beam 1 and 2 are finished. We can see here the next one is tie beam 3 and these, these are the details 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. So let's simply create the item TB3. The width is 0 0.20 and the width is 0 0.50. And by the way, we can change this value anytime. Press OK. That's the beauty in plan shift. You just need to change the value, automatically it will update all the quantities. Once you finish, that's how it's gonna look alike. You can right click and stop. Now the total quantities plans will show us here on this plan. We have done only three items and it shows here separately. And if we want, it will show here as well. We can adjust by the way, but software will show us here on this drawing. We have done only three items. So some of these items I just need to type here. So we just need to type the sum of these like 5.5 plus 3.4 plus 0.7. So total we have here 9.6 cubic meter. So that's how we can measure the tie beam. And anytime if we need to change the quantities, just double click software will allow you. You can change the width and depth in case you wish to change. And if you're new to plants, if you don't know how to use the plants, so just have a look on my channel. There's so many videos about plant shift, basic and advanced as well. So we finish here tie beam. The next one is first floor beam. Firstly, we finish all the beam, then we'll talk about slab. So for the first floor beam, we have to open a drawing of first floor beam, very obvious. Here I have the drawing. In the schedule, we can see the detail, it's 0 0.2 and 0 0.6, fine. We simply need to create a new item, okay. We can give a name, B1, the width, 0 0.2, depth, 0 0.6. We can choose color, press OK, and the concept, it will be the same we have to highlight okay so i have finished all the b1 now right click and stop i have to create a new item for b2 there is no b3 so only b2 we'll create a new item once more b2 the width is same 0 0.2 0 0.6 so press ok and we can highlight now 
fine i have finished the b1 and b2 in total quantities we can see here 5.5 and 2.1 so sum of both i simply need to type here 5.5 plus 2.1 so here I have the total first floor beam 7.6 cubic meter. Okay, so the next one here is roof beam. So same concept, let's create a new item quickly. Linear, give a name here, B1, same width 0.2 and depth 0.6. Choose color as you like and simply highlight. B1 done, now it's time to get the B2, right click and stop, create a new item, B2, width 0.2, depth 0.6, press ok and the concept highlight. So that's how it's gonna look alike, it's more accurate, more efficient, it's presentable, so you can see here right now B1 and B2, both quantity 5.6 and 0.8 and total we simply need to type here so roof beams are 0 0.8 plus 5.6 so we have total 6.4 cubic meter so that's how we can measure the beam we have finished for the tie beam ground floor first floor and roof before we proceed further let's have a question if you know what are the difference between beam and tie beam so pause this video and drop a comment so let's see who knows already Parapet coping to measure the quantity we have to depend on a roof floor in a section drawing I don't have much detail either it's a beam or it's a coping I'm considering here is a coping because I don't have much detail but let's understand it's uh, the size is 250 by 200 and I guess I can type here as well it will be a reference for us it's 250 by 200 mm and it's not a cubic meter it's a length because it's a pre-cost concrete so we just need the total length go to the roof floor and measure the total length I'll create a new item cropping you can choose a color accordingly and simply highlight so we have the total length here if you see parapet cropping is 48.1 and same I have to type here it's 48.1 meter it's a pre-cost concrete so that's all about parapet copying okay so now I'm going for slab measurement and quantities you can see we have to measure ground floor slab first floor and for the roof and we'll start by the ground floor and here designer mentioned the slab thickness is 10 centimeter but let's have a look in a section this is I always recommend to check the detail in multiple drawing so once I check the section here I find that it's 0 0.5 1.5 so if you are in this situation what you gonna do I'm gonna depend on 0 0.15 detail here so let's start I'll create a new item I'll give a name ground floor slab we can provide the depth 0 0.15 and by the way if you later realize depth need to be changed 0 0.2 or 0 0.15 you can update anytime it's possible okay so simply choose a color press ok and highlight this is the main concept Okay, so once we finish, that's how it's gonna look alike. We can see here on this drawing, ground floor slab is 17.5. So we simply need to enter here. Okay, it's 17.5 cubic meter. The next one is first floor slab. So we have to jump on a first floor. Okay, it's front of us. We have to measure the slab. But before that, let's have a look on the section. So the first floor slab thickness is 0.25. So back to the plan, we have to start measurement, let's create a new item, give a name, first floor, slab, we can type a depth, we can choose a color, press ok and highlight. We have finished the quantity, software says it's 29 cubic meter, but it's not accurate. If you know the answer, then pause this video again and drop it in a comment. So same time, we'll see who is following and who is practicing. So now, why it's not accurate? Because there is a staircase opening where there is no slab. So we have to subtract that area. How to subtract? Right click anywhere. This option subtract from section. Okay. Remember, before it was 29 
0.0 so simply we need to subtract it's from here to there once I have subtracted it's updated so this is the accurate value right now it's 26.7 and same I'm gonna type here 26.7 okay if there is any OTS or any opening you have to subtract that as well okay so this was the only for us 26.7 and I have typed it okay so the next one is roof slab it's the last one for today I'll click on a roof slab this is the drawing we have to create a new item give a name roof slab provide the depth choose a color press ok and highlight So this is what you measure you can see here the roof slab is 19.7 now why I'm not subtracting this again because if you check the section this is the only we don't have any floor further so there is no subtraction further but still I have limited detail I'm sure there will be a water tank above or maybe there is a roof access I'm sure there will be an opening but as of now because I have limited detail so I'm gonna keep the same but sure if you know there is some opening so you have to subtract that part as well okay so you understand the concept now so 19.6 I'm gonna type here so you can see here total cubic meter for the roof slab so that's it for today I hope you like and enjoy this session today we covered concrete beam and slab and in the coming episode we're gonna talk about staircase lintel and there's so many things to talk about so I will suggest you to practice whatever you guys learn today and if you have any question you know where to contact on the LinkedIn and if you really enjoy this then don't forget to subscribe the channel so stay connected and keep learning everyone